High stakes at the Handball European Championships. Who will join host Denmark in the main round? The Czech Republic, Macedonia or Austria? One of those would be left heartbroken. Spain met Iceland in effectively a playoff to win Group B with both already qualified. What if Hungary or Norway would make it too? And with France going for three wins from three in Group C, we're in the camp with Claude Onesta and the boys ahead of the Serbia clash on Friday night. First, though, Denmark will take four points with them into the main round of the Euro. The Czech Republic out of the competition. The defeat by four goals here, not for the first time. Mikkel Hansen was the star of the show. That was the opening goal of the night. Philip Jika made it three apiece. Fortunate goal. Kasper. Sundergaard Sarup made it 6-4, and then it was Hans Lindberg. Danes would be porous here, and food for thought for them ahead of the uh, serious business, the main round, which starts on Saturday. And, of course, the semi-finals thereafter, the Danes, the defending champions... Hans Lindberg was on target for them here, 2016. All came from the back, and that smart save. Lasse Schwan making it 23 17. Philip Jika scored an impressive 11 goals for the Czechs, but it wouldn't be enough for them. Beshvar on target as well. Mikkel Hansen to Michael Knudsen. Knudsen again on the end of the counter-attack. Three goals for him, all in the second half. And Thomas Mogensen rounded off the win. 33-29 in the end. Denmark winning Group A with maximum points, four points into the main round. Macedonia against Austria here could have been elimination for one. Had the result gone against them and events earlier. Branislav Angelovsky, that was 2-1. Schlinger, and then the right-handed shot from Patrick Folzer. That brought it back to 4-3 here in Macedonia's favour. Gotcha, Georgievsky thereafter. Low scoring affair, really. Good goalkeeping at both ends. Georgievsky again on the counter. And Kirill Lazarov, he was top scorer in Serbia two years ago, Lazarov. He is top of the scorer's charts again this time round with 23 after the three group matches played. Patrick Folzer for a score of 12-10 in Macedonia's favour at half-time. Then it was Merkalovsky extending the advantage at 14-11. Roland Schlinger then responded for Austria. Brilliant strike that. 1917-2018. Macedonians did manage to turn the wheel decisively before the end, though. Sajancic Stoilov there, 2020, and after that, Lazarov. Borko Rostovsky did his bit as well. Marvelous save. So. Macedonia through, joy at the end, Austria two despite the defeat, Denmark, Macedonia and Austria 6-3 and two points respectively, it is the Czech Republic who depart the Euro after the first round group stage.
Well, this was effectively a playoff to decide who won Group B, and it would be the world champion Spain. Unsurprisingly, came out on top here in Aalborg. Three victories from three. Jorge Makeda, nine metre goal from the right hand side early on. Makeda then hit the bar for Spain. What about this? Bjorgvin Gustafsson to Gunnar Jonsson. And that is how you counter attack in handball. Vitor Thomas, his penalty shot off the crossbar proved that Spain didn't have everything to their liking here. Aaron Palmerson been fantastic in the first two matches for Iceland. Three goals in a row, 15 all, and then Kaneas through Gustafsson. Wasn't brilliant goalkeeping that time. So, plenty to smile about for Manuel Cadenas, Spain's coach. The four-goal run from Iceland, helped by Runa Karasson. Brought it back to 22-19. Antonio Garcia, equaliser for Spain. Fast break after the Icelandic turnover. Six-goal run here for... Spain to make it 25-22. Brilliant save here from Jose Manuel Sierra, from Gunnar Jonsson. 14 saves from 23 shots, a 39% save ratio. Just brilliant from Sierra. Juan Canellas, 33-28 for a victory. They top the group. And the last of three spots in Group B confirmed only on the final buzzer here. Hungary against Norway, the Norwegians who have been disappointing. Christopher Rambo, magnificently named. Christian Kjelling, he would top score for Norway with six. Gabor Shajar for Hungary was dominant, so too Shabolt Zelosi. Be another draw here for Hungary, but ultimately it didn't cost them. 26-26 it finished, and there was drama at the end. Time running out for Norway. And what about that? Quite spectacular. Marta Lekai. Nip and tuck. Lekai again. Low shot to Magnus Dahl's left. 40 seconds before the final buzzer. The Norway coach Robert Heading took his final timeout. Havard Tveten netted for an equaliser. Still 24 seconds to play when Leos Moshai took his time out to calm down the team. What about that, though? Right at the death, denying Hungary the victory. Arvard Tveten. So with 26 all, there was no time for further scoring, and it is Hungary who take Third place in Group B after two draws in this opening round. Spain 100% through their three Group B matches. Six points. They win the group. Iceland second. Norway out. Well, everything's up for grabs still in Group C ahead of the final round of matches. In terms of points, the group is so precariously poised that Serbia could end up winning the group, finishing second, third or fourth, depending on the outcome of their match with France and Russia's game against Poland. France opened up with a win against Russia, 35-28. We've done what we set out to do, played two. 
one two that was the plan for the beginning of the european championship we're far from the final match but now we're sure to play in the second round we're sure to have two points for that round the competition isn't over things are a bit easier for us now but the last game will be important for the next step Still counting on their legends, Jerome Fernandez, seven international gold medals. But he was an injury worry coming into this competition. There could be rotation for the Serbia match. I think the team works well. We have enough good players to rotate it. Some could rest up and be good for the next matches. If we have four points for the second round, we'll be in a good position for the semi-finals. Serbia suffered a setback in their defeat to Russia. They were dreaming of repeating the same feat at home in Euro 2012. The Serbs sensationally managed to reach the final after beating their arch rivals Croatia in the semi. Another early exit here would be deemed a failure. We, game. we will try our best to play a better game because if we play like this, we don't have anything to, to look for in that game. Serbia won their opener against Poland, but they have to raise their level, no question, against the double Olympic champions, the French. Every segment of game, because uh, they have a really good team, so we must play strong defense. Our goalkeeper needs to be 100%, so, and small things that I can say now. <laughs> Well, Serbia need at least a point to guarantee their qualification unless Russia beat Poland in the preceding match. It's all set up for a final day showdown in Group C. France against Serbia then, and it will be Poland against Russia in Aarhus on Friday night. Group D set to be uh, decided as well in the ownership match, the playoff effectively really between Croatia and Sweden. Those two are already through with four points as you can see there. Belarus or Montenegro will go through. Goal of the day comes from Spain's victory over Iceland. Scored by Vitor Domas. That's all for now. Hope you can join us on day six of the Handball Euro. Bye for now.